We are here, but technically we are ghosts. As you can see, we do not show up on the screen. That is on purpose. Um, we've recently transformed into ghosts. Uh, good luck finding us. It's not going to happen. We've transcended. Exactly. We're no longer in this plane. Ladies and gentlemen, week six of the Swag Life series. Um, the usual stuff. We're getting real close to the end of the split, which means playoffs are coming soon. Um, yeah, I mean, a bada bing, fall 2023 back in there. Uh, certainly, we will show up on screen soon. I know you guys love to see us so much. I mean, I don't, honestly, who knows if, if there's anyone even here. So, Yeah, it's all three of you. We will be there shortly. Absolutely. Um, we got a killer game for y'all. Uh, Bloom Gaming Lily versus... Uh, I think it's DA Obsidian. I think this is the first game. Uh, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be an SLS game, ideally. Uh, you know, the usual um, one team getting shit on, then they come back, then the other team gets shit on, then they come back, then they fight for a little bit, uh, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, my God, what's happening? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then eventually someone will win. So that's what we like to do at SLS. These are All these games are scripted, really, so... That's why I already know what's going to happen in this one. Um, but, yeah, I mean, wow. Oh, there we are. Wow, hey. that's nice. Oh, let me there we are. What's going on, everyone? The aim of SLS is to be the WWE of League of Legends. Okay. Technical difficulties, setting up the camera. Oh, all right. Okay. We've got a new buddy here. This is Matt. He's so casting everyone. with me today. Uh, we're going right into these standings for y'all. We have not had these. Um, it was actually baked, roasted, grilled versus vegan chickens. And I want to say that baked, roasted, grilled lost that game. But ironically, um, the vegan chickens were not baked, roasted, or grilled despite no. the matchup, which is unfortunate for them. But, you know, the vegan chickens, they're vegan, so they come out on top right away. So that, those are the standings for us. We're going to get right into the big band here. All right. And it's, I mean, it's ready to go, it looks like. So, I think, yeah, this this looks right. So, we got, um, you know, we got a couple bands, Garen, Nocturne, Aatrox, Jinx, Ezreal on the side of DA Obsidian. Mm. And Bloom, banning J4, Vi, Twitch, Thresh, Malphite, all strong champions, honestly. So, it looks like they want to get rid of some of that initiation power mm. there on the side of Bloom, Lily. Um, they end up picking Ivern, Rakan, Asol, Ash, and Kale. So that's an interesting team. A lot of damage coming out. Ivern going to do his job in the jungle. 
and let's see we see da obsidian yeah with, and frankly yeah. i think uh, obsidian's got a much stronger team comp i For mean sure. maokai ultimate and oriana with Orn and Rel. I mean, Rel's going to go in. She's going to Magnet Storm everyone and be a ball delivery carrier for Oriana. Ooh. Frankly, I don't know what's going on with Bloom Gaming Lily's comp. I mean, the Ivern with the Aesol just seems kind of strange. It, it And Kale's going to take a while to scale. So is Aesol. Who's the mid-game carry in this team? Right. On Obsidian. Uh, rather, on Bloom. They're going to pray Ash does something, I think. I think they're just praying. Because um, if Ash doesn't get it, then... Really, who will get it? You know what I'm saying? Well, who's going to yeah. do it? Who's going to do it? Um, definitely, DA Obsidian has the stronger comp. Um, much more. Uh, it meshes well. Team fights are going to be insane from them. Yeah. For sure, are going to be crazy team fights from them. Absolutely. And there's an obvious sense of direction that Obsidian has. I mean, they want to play a traditional front to back team fight. Look at their comp Ooh. two tanks, an Oriana, and a Zaya. They're going to scale so hard. But A Soul, Rakan, Ivern. Who's going to be there to allow Ash and Kale to DPS? Right. There's Not so much peel going on. Yeah, there's only no front line. I mean, Aesol will get off tank later in the game. Ivern kind of. But really, there is no true tank on this comp whatsoever. Yeah. And there's no damage that scales quickly into mid game to carry these late game carries. Right. We kind of don't know where they're going to go. So they yeah. got to pray to some, some, I mean, just some crazy shit happens for them early game. They, they're praying. Um, they're praying. For sure, this is still SLS, though, so it's essentially solo queue glorified. So it is. Anything it is. goes. Still. That's why we love it. That's why we love casting these yeah. goofy ah games. Um, it's great. And I think we're going to go right into the game here for you all. Here we go. It begins. There it is. Look at that little guy. Look at that Loading toad. in. What a lovely toad. Yep. Oh, summoners. All right. Rest. Lots Look of this. turrets. Oh, they're just all up. That's crazy. We got the drone on Summoner's Rift right now. It zooms around too sometimes. Sometimes the drone goes autopilot because our cameraman is sleeping. Oh, we see a pretty. Okay, so this is nice to see. I like this in the in the early game. Oops. DA Obsidian is moving in. They want to do something here for sure. Yeah, Ivern's got to be careful. They're gonna come in, and it's only an A soul to guard them. There's no one else there. Little bit of a, you know, hey, I'm here. Watch out. All right. All Mag five of us are here. <laughs> you know. And Magnum Buck is just intimidating. That's uh, just asserting their dominance. Yeah, you don't want to get hit blue. by that. You don't want to get hit by that. No. Mm -mm. Well, you know, they break off. They tried something. Yeah. You know, that's more than Bloom can say. They didn't really try anything there. It's the thought <clears> that counts. Exactly. We love to see it. I love to see the attempts. Um, for an aggressive invade or you know aggressive five man instead of the usual you know I'll cover my little uh, my little jungle entrances near my lane whatever we got some copyright infringement BDS the BDS tag on the top <laughs> where <is it? laughs> it's a top laner BDS was at Malakor oh gotcha yeah what team is that actually BDS that's a uh, blue oh BDS they are a French team in the EU oh LEC. I see he, look, that's what he's striving for. You know, Bloom Gaming Lily will be his stepping stone. I guess he wants to get yeah. he wants to get in there. He wants to be on the LEC stage. And now we've got Aesol versus Oriana. This is just going to be Oriana beating up this dragon. She, she should really just be poking him to death with autos and level 2. Use command uh, dissonance to slow him and poke him to oblivion. Aesol does not have the damage, especially not with a tier. He's really going for that scale, starting yeah. with a tier. Jeez, I mean. Kind of risky. He's going to get right. poked down to hell. Those cookies aren't going to do enough. Ooh, quick level two on both sides there. But we see the Rel going a flash from the Ash. Taking a lot of damage. Definitely gets ignited. Rel trying her best. Um, not a lot of damage coming out. About equal. Ash with a kickback, getting some poke on her way out. Yeah, Rel burnt the ignite. But Obsidian definitely won that trade to carry, having to use her flash. That's not good, level two. Right, especially got Malkai zooming in there as a little tree boy rooting the Ice Queen herself. Yeah, um, I mean, Malkai has got such strong ganks, and it's so easy to point and click CC ability, so not the person you want to be caught without a flash. She does still have the uh, cleanse, but you still have Rel bot lane, right. so she, pick your poison. Who are you cleansing? Exactly. Yeah, if we see a gank down there, it's probably 
going to be unfortunate for Bloom, but we will see what happens. You see Ivern coming over. He wants to get a little cheeky root on yeah. the Ivern's oh, getting Oriana saucy, here. looking for something. Don't hug Ooh. that wall, Oriana. Get out of there. Uh, she's here fine. Is the big... Oh, the big one, the big one. Where's she, the three-pointer? Where is it? She okay, keeps, so wow. he lands it. Lands a snare. Oh, wait. Achieves absolutely nothing. Nearly dies, oh, but... My. Oh, Here comes oh. Maokai. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. So Aesol, way too low, flashes away. We see... <laughs> we no. see... I don't know who came over. I think it was Maokai came over, and he ended up cleaning that up real quick. Maokai showing some real skill expression. Wow. Rooting into a smash, a bramble smash. Not too bad. And then they rotate down bot. They want to get something else juicy down here. But I think yeah. they know that is warded. And they saw him come down from mid. So, yeah, not actually not bad at all from the Maokai. Saved Aesol and got a kill for it. So that's no, nice. Yeah, and then Oriana getting a big greedy. You didn't need to step up there. Maokai was super healthy. You would have gotten at least one kill. Wanted to get the kill herself and punished for it. Unfortunate for the Ori. She definitely needs to. Oh, oh here we go. And you saw Maokai, oh, but you boy. stepped up anyway. Oh, boy. Okay, that's a flash out. Yep, she's probably going to die. One auto left. Dead. A flash. There you go. Yep. And this is not what you want to do. You do not want to feed the S tier hyper carry on a comp that you want to scale to late game. Right. This is the complete opposite of what you want to do. Not ideal. No. Um,. Yeah, that's that's the early game, I guess. Uh, we did we did call the Maokai um, feeds down. There's something's gonna happen, but it looks like they they kind of thought he left. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. There's no pink ward around. Maybe went. I don't know where he even went. I don't know. You wonder the most impressive thing in this game so far how the Kale has the most farm in game. That's how that's does that solid. even happen with the melee, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Okay, so Zaya's gonna go down. We see good... we see Ash running back. Close for the Ash. Yeah, Peekaboo nearly dying, and Lexar getting that kill, which is a nice consolation prize, but it's going on the Rakan. It's not the most useful gold on the team. You don't want your gold allocated on the Rakan support. Oh, Rel is going a little crazy there. You know? Yeah. If Ash was nearby, I feel like she's dead. But, of course, less than 100 HP. Don't want to be too close to those guys. Quick reset for the bot lane. Zaya comes back, pick up some farm. Like you said, I mean, look at this Kale right now. Level 6, 44 farm. Yeah, oh, and I think this is where we pause. I believe there was a pre-planned pause. Never mind. There it is. Wow, that was a – what a lovely transition. For On our sure. end, we definitely had a pause when that happened, but it looks like you guys get to just continue watching this crazy game. It's it's crazy. Oh, my God, crazy. Wow. It's nuts. Nuts gameplay. Watching Kale auto attack, wet noodle fight up in top lane. It's an orn top with a Kale pre-6. What are you expecting? Right. If anyone dies, someone really messed up. Absolutely. And now we've got Rave Master on the Maokai looking to flank. We've got both teams. Oh, boy. But Obsidian has the number advantage. But everyone just backs off. No one's gonna commit to this. They know that people are missing or missing bot. Uh oh. Maokai getting a little bit caught out here. Asol comes over. Hits yeah. him with some breath, but he gets out just fine. Helps the fan Ivern's gold. Now he's looking to get that scuttle and they should let this go. Ori Maokai is a way stronger uh duo, mid jungle duo than a pre six A Soul. And the Ivern. He just hit yeah. six, okay. Either way, they're still dominating that, yeah, I feel like. I mean... Some damage coming out from the Ash. Oriana building a tier of the Goddess. Um, I don't know. She should want to really stretch her advantage state, so I'm not sure if that was really the buy to make on your first back right. against an Aurelian Soul. You want that early damage on Yeah. There. No. There's plenty of time to stack, and... I don't know. A lost chapter would have been a great first oh, buy. I love that first buy. It's oh incredible. God. I used to, oh, jeez. Lost chapter. You get the mana back on the level up. That was so satisfying. Oh, boy. Yep. So we see um, not too bad of a farm gap. Bot lane, just 10 CS. Um, mm -hmm. We do see a big one top, though. Kale is definitely doing her job up there. Yeah, Kale's channeling Chovy. Got that next level farm going on. And. Orn's just being Orn. He's just gonna stay there until <coughs> level 11 and team fights start. Pretty much, right? He'll build the items in the lane. 
That little bastard. Yeah. Oh. Wow, these Zaya E's are doing some work actually. I'm seeing these just random roots. Like you don't even you don't need to be standing near those colors. I see these also in these random nine 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 true damages. Ivern's coming down with Daisy. Oh boy, they don't see it. So a miss W from the Rakan. Okay, so stunned. Ash is stunned. I'm sorry, Zaya is stunned. She throws down her alt. Still slowed from the Ash. And Rel wants to get him off. Rel goes in. Teleport. Okay. Orin is coming to party. From we Malachi's got... here. Gets the alt off a couple roots. Okay, so Zaya is out with 1 HP. Rel is also out with 1 HP nearly. Malachi and Orn doing a great job defending. And Oriana is here. Gets her alt off on 1. Will take the Ash down and ends up getting... Uh, yeah, two, so that's two kills for them. Two kills for DA Obsidian, one to Maokai, one to Orianna. A great turnaround, actually, um, yeah. considering Rel and Zaya barely escaped that. Um, they both left with, like, one HP. They're going to rotate over this dragon. Yeah, now they're going to get the Chemtech Drake, and this is really bad for Bloom Lily because... You have two late game champions getting gold. Maokai's got two kills. Oh, Oriana's we see got one. Zaya bot lane still with one HP. Asol is chasing her. She's gonna try to get, try to get executed. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna give it over to uh, Ash. That is unfortunate. They do pick up the dragon, but Zaya, I think, stayed a little bit too long there. Definitely had plenty of time to recall. Uh, ends up dying. Um, yeah, it looks like Kale's gonna grab the scuttle. Might as well. Oriana now top lane and Orn mid. So it looks like, I don't know if this is temporary. Looks like he's going back up there. I'm not too now, sure. I'm guessing what Bloom Lily is going for here is this Kale's going to scale up. Granted, she's doing a great job, and maybe she gets her ult and ults the Aurelian soul when he's got lots of items and is DPSing like a madman. So that's really their win condition. I don't think the Ash is going to do it. Who's the front line, right? Yeah, there's not too much damage to be taken on the side of Bloom Lily, meaning who is going to tank? I mean, there's not, no one's really going to be building too many resistances. It looks like Rakan is going no. full tank at the moment. He's got the Aegis and whatever that thing is. It looks like a ward item, but the tanky one. Mm -hmm. um, and look at the difference for these fights. I mean, Orn has, in, uh, has armor, and we have Maokai with a giant spelt. And what does Ivern have? He's got Lucidity Boots. A fiendish codex and aether west. Oh, and now he's dead because of that. I'll tell you right yeah. now. So that's tough. We see we see Rel up yeah. here. Uh, they're gonna help um secure the rift. Kale is hovering around. She might be able to do something. I don't know about level nine Kale. She is at that 108 CS mark. So maybe just focus on that. Give away the rift. Not much you can do here with as one just yet. Maybe level 13. You'll be able to go crazy on these guys, but. Yeah, yeah. And Bloom Lily is just going to have to bide their time and try to make it to late game. They've got zero objectives so far. They've got no map presence. Right. Not doing too much. Rel <laughs> still rotating around. Asol is like, okay, uh, I might leave. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, Asol is just floating around, waiting to get farmed. Down 20 CS, as expected for this matchup. Honestly, all in all, Asol was doing a great job in lane. It's one of the hardest matches, uh, matchups for him in this current meta. Oriana is just so strong right now. Definitely a crazy champion. I feel like I just love, I mean, she has so many strong points as well. Like in lane is strong. Mm -hmm. Like there's not a crazy escape potential yeah. for her. But the autos alone stacking with the passive, the Q consistency. Oh, we see, we see Ivern down here. No one knows he's here, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. this is going to be something. A face He's check. He's going to get rooted. Almost. He's being very, very patient. Get roots oh. for Rel. Okay, so Rakan gets his alt in the W off. Zaya is going to go down. Yeah. Rel now taking some damage. Everyone is focused on her. Maokai making his way down, but I think it's going to be way too late here. He did want and to try something, got that but. Kill. Peekaboo gets the kill. That's good. It would have been better onto Aurelian Soul. Mm -hmm. If he got a kill there, that would equalize, or just about equalize the gold between uh, him and Oriana. Would but definitely help him out there. For sure. Magical boost coming in for Asol. It's actually a really big deal. He's so dependent on movement speed, and Oriana definitely has lots of movement speed. Command oh, yeah. dissonance, giving her speed up. Oh, my God. I mean, look at Kale right now. Yeah, Kale's farm is pretty incredible. I mean, that is actually Chovy level farm. 132 CS at 12 minutes and 50 seconds. Seriously, doing a great job up there. Oriana also, I mean, considering her mm -hmm. KP is doing a pretty solid job considering the small amount of roaming that she's done bot lane, but 
Yeah, this guy's, these guys are going off with a bomb right now. For sure. Shout out to JDK. Oh. Enchanted Crystal oh, Arrow. Oh, okay. Thing. Rakan's here, though. And Rakan, Ivor. Coming they the wanted. party. It's... Oh, they wanted The that. whole crew came mid, and JDK, you must be dead. If you don't die, then they've just spent so much on this Orianna. Yep. Wow. And the random Aesol flash. Um, Rakan ends up getting the shutdown. Unfortunate. Considering Aesol wanted that super, super bad, spends the flash, doesn't get anything except an assist. But that is Oriana down. That is Oriana down. Um, that might be able to help him a little bit. Uh, maybe this team fight continues. I don't see that something that they want to do. And here we go. Oh, it's that's a lot of damage, though. 3v4. Oh. You have oh, no carries. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay. Great Magnet Storm for no one to follow up on. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, so Rakan just got a three-man knockup right there. And we had a huge knockup from Daisy on Ivern's side. Oh, boy, that was tragic for, uh, yeah, and for DA Obsidian. What was Obsidian even doing there? I mean, um, what was – yeah, what was Obsidian even doing there, really? Or knowing they're outnumbered, knowing their Orianna had just died. Right, that's, like, kind of all their damage. I mean, yeah. Zai's not doing much. I think she got that Kraken on back, so. And this is not – I mean, this is great for Bloom Lily. They need all the help they can get from their composition. And Ash has got three kills. And that is one of the primary carries. Aurelian Soul picking up a kill, too. Now he's got to finish Leandris. He's going to start doing some damage. Right. It is kind of going the yeah. way that they need it to go. Is that five yeah. stacks on the... Um, uh, Dark wow, Seal? What is it called? Dark Seal, yes. It is. It is. So he might get some more on that. Oh, turn into a lane. Uh, into a Mage if he needs, but we see a Good little bit of... Crystal Arrow. Yep, and I think Maokai might be... Oh, he flashes out, but still the knockup from the Daisy. Oh, the... Oh, my God, the counter all oh, from Maokai. Oh, wow. Get him that down. Was such a great Orn flank coming from behind the teleport, turning this oh. entire fight around. Wow, so these guys are real loud. They're going to run. Rakan might want to sacrifice himself here like he's doing. Yep. Okay, well, you can spend it if yeah. you want. You that know. was, I don't I get what the point of that stopwatch was. I don't know if you spend the stopwatch there, but, yeah. you know, it, you looked cool sacrificing yourself. Very nice of you. Yeah, Rakan's just flexing. Says, I don't need the stopwatch for anything useful. Maokai went down there from Aesol. Aesol now needs to find his way out of here. I mean, he's got that crazy E where he just floats, a, you know, floats yeah. over everything. Oh! oh. Grandpa's lost. Someone help Aesol. He doesn't know where he's going. I think he is done. That's a shutdown onto Ori. So he, I mean, Aesol now is three kills, three, one, and four, which is a crazy comeback for the lane that he had early game. Oh, yeah. Um, didn't die in lane, which is incredible. Um, we see this no. dragon up now. But if, What kind of technology is this coming out of Ivor and rushing a, uh, a cosmic drive? <laughs> what is what is going on? He is, wants those long range <laughs> roots. He needs all the damage you can get that guy on. He's gonna be moving so fast. Uh, can't say of uh Ivern's running a Usain one, Bolt but. build and I'm not sure how it's gonna work. <laughs> oh boy, he definitely wants to be shooting those roots out like a minigun. Um they're gonna try for the dragon here. They want to get a dragon really bad. They don't have one yet. Oriana has there. teleport if she wants to come and join the team, and she does use her she teleport is. on that pink ward. Dragon half HP. They can fight. Begins. We see Kale up from the mid lane coming over onto Zaya, but a huge Maokai hitting almost everyone. Rel going in a little yeah. bit onto the Rakan, but who is that just died? That's Rel Great. that just – or no, Oriana died to a soul there, and we see Zaya going in on the Kale a little bit. Oh, my God. What is Zaya? Oh, Ayo? yep, crazy, crazy. She does end up getting out. I would just run. What are you doing? Get away. Really wants wow. to, <laughs> really wants to get a little cheeky Q snipe kill there. And that was a great command shockwave, but there was no one to follow up. Oriana was all alone in Dragon Pit, and uh, wow, that was, that was a wild fight. Uh, it almost went really badly for Bloom Lily because Kale was flanking, and you only have a Nasher's tooth. <laughs> in a, a, what is that? A leeching leer. So, not exactly the champion you want flanking, but it worked out somehow. It did. They uh, DA Obsidian does come out with the dragon, but dragon for three. Maybe you don't really want Bloom to get ahead right now. Really, I mean, really ever. But mm -hmm. at the moment, I think it's a pretty pivotal piece mm -hmm. of the game for Bloom Lily. If they can continue this momentum, they might have. A pretty solid chance going into the later mid game here. Yeah, they're in a really good spot now. Their carries are fed, and Kale, although it doesn't have kills, 192 CS at 18 minutes. Holy shit, definitely yeah. crazy. 
very consistent the whole game so far with that farm. Can't give that up. That is her very primary source of gold. We see Aesol coming in over the wall. Rel looks like she wants to sacrifice herself, ends up dying, and Zaya also dead there. So yeah. that's a tough catch by them. You know, they both die. And really, this is a team <laughs> diff. I mean... You had the bot lane from Obsidian engaging onto four people. Their team was nowhere to be found. I don't know what they were thinking was going to happen. Yeah, a little too far up there from them. No vision either. So not sure what they were doing. Yeah. Um, but Bloom will grab this rift as a reward in you know, addition to the two kills. The so saving great. grace for Obsidian is they have an Ocean Dragon and a Chemtech Dragon. So they're going to have some sustain. They're going to have some healing throughout these fights, and they're going to have a bit of tanky uh, stats from that chem dragon. but they really need to bide their time to get to late game and have their comp do the winning for them for these front-to-back team fights. Um, oh, but oh, Kale is doing some damage now. Yeah, oh, she's, boy. She's hitting. That is that 13. 200 farm. She's got the... What's it called? Void Heart and Nashers, I think. Right? Void yeah. yeah um, wow, what is that item called? It's uh, nice with the lifesteal. It's crazy. I'm trying to remember, yeah. It might be Void Heart. I don't know. But we see Ivern dying mid lane. <laughs> he died to something. He's done. He's gone. Yeah, it's probably the Ori. Nasher's Toop, the Omni Vamp, and the Auto Attack Steroid on that item who uh, neither of us can remember the name of. It'll come to us eventually. Yeah, but she is doing some work right now. they got to be careful. Um, I mean, pretty much free farming at this point, level 13. That's pretty crazy, level 13 in this game right now. I mean, next closest is Ori, and she's been in, I mean, pretty... I mean, most things. She's been in, in mm -hmm. almost all the kills for DA Obsidian. But, yeah, Kale now level 14. She is humongous at the moment. Only two yeah. items, though, but she, she doesn't need it. I mean, she's level 14. She's got that range yeah. now, doing some crazy auto attacks. Um, it's She's dangerous. You don't want her to flank you again. Earlier flank, you know, it was something. But this one's going to be... No, this is oh really boy. bad. And Obsidian had the advantage early in the game, and they threw it. So this is, this is exactly what Bloom Lily wanted. They wanted to be gifted kills and get catapulted into the late game with good items. Oh, wow. Okay, so Dio Obsidian doing a uh, little this bit is of a Hail Mary. Desperation Baron, if I've ever seen one. Right. Um, maybe a little bit of a bait. They want to do something. Rel <laughs> using a Hex Flash, scaring them a little bit. Um, they're just going to back off, yeah. Not too much loss from the, the bait. Oh, they're going right back onto it. Uh, Kale is bot lane. Teleport's up. They're going to have to do... Bloom's oh, going to have to... No rift Herald. I mean, Bloom's going to have to do something, I think. Um, yeah, we do see that Rift top lane. It looks like... Yeah, I mean, oh, Daisy that's... is just taking all the damage. And that's... Oh, no! Bro! Wow. Oh, God. So, Malachi with a humongous Baron Seal and alt. The Aurelian Soul off hits a big, big boy. Um, trying to do some damage, trying to recover what's going on. Ivern kills the Rel. We see the Orn alt hit two. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So that's two loss for Dia Obsidian plus Baron loss. And Kale was not even there. She's still pushing bot. She might get an inhib with that Baron buff now. Um, wow. And, uh, oh, wait. I'm sorry. Kale does not have Baron. Um, that's insane. Yeah, that is. That they stole it. That is uh, really bad for Obsidian. I mean, rather uh, Bloom Lily. Wow, they, I thought I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was switched the teams that were on it and the one yeah. that sold. My bad. Um, insane by Malkai. Oh, well yeah. done. You got. I mean, you got to take those steals. That shit feels so fucking good as a jungler. Oh my god. Listen, man. Oh the, wow. The game was slipping away from them, and shout outs to the uh, yeah the Malkai Rave Master. He did exactly what he needed to do in a situation, and Baron's gonna stall the game, and give them for real. Yeah, and give them a lot of push power. Kind of a full stop on the momentum that Bloom had there at the moment. Now they wanna they wanna keep their own momentum going off that steal. Maybe try to gra grab this dragon, their third one, I believe, of the game. Yeah, they're gonna grab it. I think this looks pretty safe. And right Ivern now, can't get in. Obsidian has the alt advantage. Oriana has command shockwave. So yes. I don't know about this fight. Oh, yeah, the fight might be tough. So we see Zaya going down. Uh, Orin does flash over the wall. I don't know if he's oh. going to make it out with this constant slow. Rel is trying to defend him. Might end up but dying for it. Wow, okay, so that is that is all the Baron buffs gone but two. And they do get the dragon, though. Yeah, and Ash. Oh, she saw it. Good thing, too, huh? Holy, that would have been... 
Yeah. A good attempt, though, from Ash. That was clean. A nice little follow-up attempt there. Um, but, yeah, so we see... We see 2 and 13 bot lane now from D Obsidian. That's tough. Um, they do have the OBJs on lock at the moment. That's three dragons at 23 minutes. They want the soul bad. A 5k gold difference between the teams. Bloom in favor at the moment. We see four bounties on the players too. Ash has a shitload of gold. 8, 2, and 10. Kind of insane. Um, yeah. Kind of going exactly <laughs> the way they want it. Yeah. To I be mean, honest. 8, 2, 10. Ash, Aurelian Soul, 6, and 1. I mean, this is this is what you needed. I was uh, hating on their comp, but it is a team diff at the end of the day. It is. That's what they needed. Like, all they oh, needed yeah. was that early game stuff. Um, it is rare to see it, so I can't, you know. <laughs> who knew that this would, I mean, it usually would not, I feel like. So, they'll take this, uh, this little chance that they're getting. They want to, you know, let's follow through with it, Bloom. See what you yeah. guys can do here. I know. And, okay. okay. I was a little stuck. Kale um, is not going to get <laughs> any CC. Magnum Buck whiffing. So, uh, oh my god, amazing! Thank you, Dan. So yeah, that was quite the uh, quite the tussle there between the dragon and the Baron take for uh, Da Obsidian. Now we're back to the usual twenty-four and a half minute gameplay. So let's see what go what else goes on here. Oh yeah, an Aurelian soul feeling himself, getting him. Uh, he's gonna build a. Um, wow, I'm forgetting all the name of these items. Anyway, it's the item that stacks a lot of kills. He's got a dark seal and it, it builds into the magi's. <laughs> magi's. There we go. Oh yeah, he does have the ten stacks. He's gonna get that magi soon. And this is a problem. Aurelian soul's getting really tanky. Um, he's getting really strong too. And three items completed on Chaos. She's got a... She's definitely crazy with that Rabadon's, Nashers, and I think it's... I feel like it's Void. Something Void. Void Heart, I think. Yeah, it looks like a Void name. item. So she's going a little nuts. And it's almost purely from farm. She has 2 KP out of 21. That's just under 10% KP. All of this gold that she has at the moment for three full items, including a Mythic, is from her 290 farm at 25 minutes. That is nearly 300 farm. She's about to hit 300 farm. Oh, yeah. um, someone needs to do something about this lady. She is basically Jax right now. Someone needs to control the Jax. Oh, yeah. Malakor V is uh, smurfing right now. A little crazy from this, this guy. This Kale's nuts. 600 gold bounty on that guy now. And, uh, no deaths. Right now, we got an ARAM going on. Sending four people mid. <laughs> <laughs> Kale's bot lane. Uh, they're just hiding out. Chilling. Orin is crying. Look at his health bar go down. This guy's almost. This guy's going to die. Happening? This guy's going to get clapped. He's done. He down can't defend this. three levels. He cannot go 1v1 he's, against he's, Kale. He's crying. He's begging for help from his team. Oh. oh, my God. So, there he goes. So, now that's an inhib, I think, he's for, just uh, done. for the Kale. There oh, we go. boy. Okay, so a huge amount of damage onto the Zaya from the Aurelian Soul. I think she might. Yeah. No, she does not die. But... Alt's oh a little God. late, too. Alt after taking all the damage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so Kale's getting that inhib, and we see the rest of Bloom pushing mid. This is a dire situation for Dio Obsidian. Um, oh, yeah. Absolutely horrible. They are Listen, they are panicking. This is done. This I want to say, what can they really do here? I mean, Kale alone. Okay, so Kale does go down with four. Makes sense. She did a she did a job on them. They're all about half HP or nearly, nearly dead. For sure, I mean. But Bloom, I mean, they're going to peace out. They got what they wanted. They got an inhib. They got all those towers. They Two are gone. Two inhibitors. Until next time, up. they said. And we see Dragon in 30 seconds. They need Bloom yeah. needs to back right now. They got to make their way over there and ensure that DA Obsidian does not get this soul point. They do not want the soul point on these yeah, guys. I wonder if Bloom Lily is going to go for the Baron trade because they're on soul point. They can skip a Dragon. It'll be fine. And uh, for some reason, Peekaboo just alone. Ash is just alone. They really could have killed her right there if they had better vision. That's true. That's very true. They have the initiative there. Team comp. And they're going to rush down Dragon. That is the soul point for them. Okay, so a lot of... Oh, my God. The, the Shockwave does a shitload of damage to my the Zaya. And and we'll see Ivern and Zaya dead. No Kale. I'm sorry, Rel. These no skins Kale. are so confusing. Rakan, I meant. These but skins. They can still win. They've got no ultimates on the side of Obsidian, and there we go. Kale's just gonna. That's true. 
<laughs> so definitely Kale definitely could have ended the game here. She's gonna teleport in onto this big old minion, and I think she will. Oh no, that's a soul. Look at that. Yeah, Aurelian soul just. I thought it was Kale's because she her staring cool at on. this Orn who's uh, not done much of anything. I mean that's an open nexus at the moment. Shooting yeah. hips down. And this is GG. Oh no, they're going for that inhib. Need Ace to get that goes. third inhib. <laughs> a full win, <laughs> a complete win is what they want here. Here we go. Ash is one v one ing the uh, AP carry and wondering that. why she died. I don't know about that. Kayla trying for it. Oh, wow. Very close. I mean, look. Very close. That was a fun little run for them, I yeah. think. This this they kills did it on purpose. Yeah. This kills oh, a chat. Sure. That was so unnecessary. He just decides to go for the top in him and then goes to the Clean. Nexus. One V five. I, mean, I don't got, care. You got the strength. You got the power, you know, fuck it, right? Yeah. Four Orn items. a little crazy. Four items to Orns too. So definitely some work to be done from J Obsidian here. They did get the soul point. We see Baron is up right now though. Mm -hmm. After that tragic base attack, I mean, they have no towers. Uh, the Nexus is open. They have one in him up. And frankly, I'm surprised they didn't go for this Baron now that Kale's dead. And they killed the jungler. I think it's time. Yeah, it's time. It might be time. Kale does not have teleport. She's going to rush her ass over here. But these guys on DM City, and they do have damage, so yeah. we'll see how we'll see if they can uh, get it down in time. If this A Solar and Ash Valley still there, they should just quit the game. Be insane. Oh, Ash just blows up. Wow. Just focus on it. There you go. There so you that's go. Baron. Okay. Two Barons in a row. They're fighting. Obsidian's fighting. Oh, it's just crazy. Like you look at the gold difference. You would not expect such a massive map difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, one K gold. Day of Obsidian keeping you know keeping themselves above water barely uh, with a soul point and Baron now two Barons all the Barons of the game. Mm -hmm. It's kind of insane that they're still in the game. I think it's that OBJ control that they're it just doesn't it won't let Bloom finish the game there. Uh, Kale could have definitely ended it. I feel like <laughs> yeah, she if she stayed there, but you know she wants to farm a little more, have an even crazier game now at 340 CS at 30 and a half minutes. Yeah, that's actually insane. She is not going to live up, or she's not going to give up that farm for anything. Loves the farm. Oh, wow. Yeah. And Holy shit. Almost bursted her. Oh, dead. bye. And this is the problem. You give two Barons to the team with the better composition, and eventually they just win by default. So unless Obsidian throws, this is really, I mean, it really is their game to lose. They really shouldn't lose now. Oriana can 1v1 the Kale. It's true. They have the pink ward on the Nexus, too, just in case. We see Kale's teleport coming up. I want to say maybe that's 50 seconds. I don't really know. But she'll have it up soon. No wards on the base. So, oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. That's a lot. Okay. So, big, big, big initiation oh, there. Oh, wow. What the fuck? It, Who was that? That was Zaya being Zaya. R. R and E, and that's it. Yep. Rakan rage quitting. Get out of the server. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that is absolutely. <laughs> that is absolutely. The yeah, that's game. Soul that's on game. the Zaya. And that is. Yeah. That is. That is a crazy, insane -o mode. Um, I mean, I'm actually questioning if this is real at the moment. Kale. Right. Kale. 1v4. Do it. Try Not your best. Happen. Try, honey. Not going to work. No. Nope. That's. Un that's. Holy fuck. All right, there we go. 32 minutes. Honestly, really good showing from Bloom Lily and really generous of them to hand that win over. I mean, what the hell was that? Open Nexus, one in hip up. These guys said, what the, f what do you think you're doing right now? We're done with this. We're gonna win instead. Charge up there. Zaya goes in just, 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 I don't know. She eats them, she ate them. Yeah, I mean, honestly, she pressed two buttons. And what the hell? She ate them. And then uh, they move in. They kill the Nexus. What was that? Yeah, I just want to say shout outs to Freak at the balance team. This team <laughs> is well balanced. What the? What was that, actually? I mean, what an absolute turnaround. A full 180 as far as the game's direction there. All because of that. I mean, I want to say it's because of that Baron. They took the, they took the Baron away, but geez.
Yeah, I mean, that was really it. The, the first Baron stalled the game out a few minutes, and that second Baron, really, that was that was a death knell. Finish the floor. Nails in the coffin there. Oh, wow, yeah. guys. So that was, a, like, in SLS fashion, like I was saying, I mean, you know, one team's doing crazy, and then come back, come back, come back, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I mean, this this time, they literally had the Nexus open at a fourth HP, and then they still came back and won the game. So God knows what's happening around here. Yeah, and it's so sad because Kale had two opportunities to win. She could have TP solo taken the Nexus, or she could have, you know, not hit the top inhibitor and hit the Nexus instead. Right. She kind of feels bad. A lot of things could have gone better there. I think for both teams, but mm -hmm. <laughs> Dia Obsidian is, uh, they're popping the champagne right now. They, they had no business winning that, honestly. No. Even though they had that OBJ control, it was very clean, the OBJ control. I think at the end of the day, you look at that. They have the soul, they have the two barons, and they won. They they had no business coming back, doing anything like what they just did. But you look at what's happening. You look at what they have. We attribute it, I would say, to the OBJs. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, and frankly, that was such an unholy composition. It was just <laughs> that It finally did what it needed to do. That, uh... Jeez. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you can't if you can't outplay your teammates, you can just outscale them. You gotta try it. You gotta do something. I mean, goddamn, they did it. I think uh, that's game one, guys. So yeah, we have one more game. I don't know who's playing, but we'll tell you. <laughs> that's a great question. Soon enough. Playing. But at the moment, I think we're gonna take a quick breaky so we can eat, and then we'll be right back. BRB. For game two.